And hey there guys, what is going on? Brian Guy Rocky here. And so, last time we left off, we launched a missile. That's right, we were in this room right here. Uh, we launched a missile. I did not repair it uh, for sake of today's video. Uh, at all, in fact. I left it just as it was. Um, for reasons that there's a blue block falling and it's like stuck. I'll get it somewhere, wherever it is. Uh, anyway, so basically what's been happening is, where is this block falling from up here? Did I get it? Okay, that should stop. Anyway, uh, so basically what's been happening is, um, I left it like this for the fact being, one, I'll repair it, but more or less, let's fix it in this episode. And I thought, let's, let's do some math here. So, the actual missile was here. Okay, the, the like from the ground. So, say the actual block started here. So, we'll just count up from there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen starts here is where it hit so about 14 up is where the damage started okay so we're gonna need 14 blocks minimum up here to get this thing down so let's count down one two three four uh, oh. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen which is right there not this one the other one okay so which is right here now, I'm going to lower this. So, if you don't know my strategy, it was to remove all these eventually as well. So, I think I can drop it down a few more if I wanted to be safe. But I don't really think it makes too big a difference. Uh, I'm just going to have it right here from now on. So, one, that's going to require much less wire. Uh, but two, it's going to be much more of a pain to get up here. So, I'm going to have to make something cool down there. Maybe some cool elevator or something to get up here, which will make it cool. Super cool, you know. So, uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, well, let's build this platform. Uh, so, we'll just do this. Uh, like, ah! Uh oh, like that. Forgot I have hover mode. Uh, I don't know why I'm not using hover mode. That would make it so much easier to build right now. So we'll just uh, build this like that. Let's remove these. We'll use cobblestone. Um, as much as a lot of you guys despise the use of cobblestone, I apologize. Uh, I like cobblestone personally. I think in this texture pack, it doesn't look bad. In fact, to me, it looks really nice. Uh, they didn't just make cobblestone an ugly block like in the normal game. It actually has a pretty nice texture to it, I think. In fact, I sort of like it more than the stone texture because it's sort of like when you buy like a co cobblestone walkway in real life. It actually looks nice. It doesn't just look like poop. So uh, let's go this way. Come on. I forgot to shut my door again. So people were probably like in here snooping, doing some snooping business, you know, some super secret snoopy business. I wouldn't know about it, of course. I don't know. I, I should probably look up and check into that, see if anyone's been snooping on me. Haven't really been doing much. Um, also, I should probably mention, while I'm recording this, guys, it's my birthday. And the day you're seeing this, it's my birthday. I'm getting this out the same exact day I'm recording it, which is really rare. But I'm doing that. Um, so, okay, so this comes down like this. Too wide. So, we'll, um, let's go get... Oh, what's that? Oh, ink sacks. Oh, I got a donation by Anonymous. Oh, thank you, Anonymous, who donated me three leather, some ink sacks, and some blaze rods. Those will actually be useful, so thank you for that. Uh, I wonder how much they donated. I wish I wish I knew. I think probably, like, that looks like the $5 donation, I think. But that's really awesome. Thanks a bunch, um, Anonymous. I, 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 I wish I could call you something else, but you didn't really leave a name, so. Uh, wait, why am I putting wires down? So let's break this lever. Let's break this uh, launcher control panel thingy-majig. And let's go ahead and then break the actual launcher itself. Let's go up here. Uh, put our launcher down right in the middle here. Uh, so we'll take this, put that there. Get our launcher. We're going to put the launcher there. Uh, put the actual launcher, launcher to launcher piece right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to wire all the way up to that. Because uh, that's the part you actually need to get power into. So let's have it power it uh, just around this way. Though we do have to be a little more uh, careful with the power. So actually, I'm going to have it go into the wall because I'm going to need stabilizers on the sides here. So uh, let's have it go all the way around here. And we'll have it come in directly from the side here. So let's have it go like this around. One short. I think there's, yeah, there's a lot down here I can use. Uh, so we'll just take this one. Uh, this should provide power directly into the uh, launcher. So there we go. And bam, you can see it's not gaining power. But it will in a second. Just let it update. Um, 
So these are the coordinates we left off last. I just blacked out the screen. I got to edit that in because I don't want to right click this piece uh, and show the coordinates I'm launching. But um, so yeah, so now this should launch effectively. Uh, I don't think we need to do another test uh, unless you guys really, really want me to. I mean, I guess I could. And assuming it's missiles, you guys are going to want me to. So uh, I'll do another launch test. So let me just go build a missile real quick. So um, the missiles I am making, they're, I think they're called the conventional missile. Oh, there, you go. Oh, there we go. Uh, so we'll type a missile. Here it is, the conventional missile. Uh, it requires a can and a missile module. So I'm not sure if I have enough material to make another one, actually. Uh, they're kind of expensive. So I'm not going to make another one yet. But uh, just take my word it's going to work. We'll do another test once I get the camo paste up here and all that and looking nice. And then I'm gonna what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on to basically disguising this whole base. It's going to sound crazy, but I'm literally going to build a mountain. That's right. I'm going to build a mountain. This whole area is going to become a fake mountain connecting up to this mountain. And I'm gonna try to make it look natural. And all this will be in a hollowed out mountain. And then all of this here will be in a, uh, well the chests will be uh, removed. I'm gonna have all of that be transported through pipes all the way downstairs into a huge uh, chest, a chest room that I'm gonna build. Um, and then some other plans are to have um, this, you know, I said I'd remove the cobble and disguise this right into the mountain using the invisible uh, air paste stuff, which is, uh, let me just show you if you don't know what I'm talking about here. Uh, it's air something, they're fake air blocks. Um, this is showing stairs. It's, um, it's with the at, uh, some, the, the, I can't remember. It's going to bother me if I can't. Okay, here it is. The uh, secret rooms. Okay, so at secret. Here we go. And what they have solid air blocks these are cool but I think I can also disguise air blocks as other things so I could have a solid air block and this I can make it look like grass and stuff like that I don't know how I'm gonna do it officially yet but all I'm saying is it's really 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 cool um, there's ghost block yeah ghost block that's what I'm looking for because it's a uh, It'll go right through. So I placed a bunch of these ghost blocks, have it look like the blocks around it, which will be grass. But in reality, you'll fall right through if they were to walk over or if a mob were to. Um, and what I'll probably do is I'll probably end up making a system where mobs that fall down there will get transported or something like that. And then, But the missile should be able to go up and through. I don't know. We'll have to do a test, but I think that should work. And if that works, that's going to be insanely useful. So just keep, keep your eyes out for that. Uh, hello. Uh, we're not going to patch all this now, um, but let's go ahead and I'll show you uh, the other room here. Uh, obviously, you've seen the other room, but I do want to go over a few things in this room. So a lot of you guys have been telling me to start working on this because it's useful. Uh, it is useful. You're right. I have done no research on it, though, and I don't have the materials because almost everything takes diamond. So let's just take the basic plating, for example. Let's try and install that today. Uh, that's not expensive. Okay, so basic uh basic 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 plating there it is it takes a tin gear and five iron the iron i don't need to worry about i have that but can i make a tin gear yes i actually can so if you guys want to know how to make this it's a really simple recipe so we'll start off here uh by creating some sticks now let's go over to our crafting bench over this way what we're going to do is we're going to create four sticks and pattern like that will get us this then what we do is we take four cobblestone, put it in a pattern like that. We get the stone gear. Now we just need four tin. Uh, tin, we'll also get this. Tin, actually we need one, two, three, four, five, five of that. I don't see any tin though. Hmm. Tin! Maybe I don't have tin. I do have tin. I lied to myself. And then what we do is the exact same thing. Stone gear in the middle, one, two, three, four, and we got a tin gear. Now what we want to do is we want to head over to another crafting bench, because uh, I'm being silly, put that there, and then what we're going to do is take our five ingots and put it like that, and we got our basic plating. So let's go ahead and put this on my, we'll keep this on the armored leggings. Those are the most important part. So let's click this, basic plating. Now you can see it allows us to install, so I installed. And I can add plating 
thickness. Now, I can give myself five points of armor for this, which I did. So now, it's really armored. If I were to take that off, and that off, you can see it's giving me armor. If I were, you can see, because each one counts as half. That gives me five armor. Now, that's not going to, <coughs> excuse me. That's not going to slow me down much. But if I turn it all the way off, no armor, and I'm faster. So it slows you down based on the weight you give it. And you can change it again over time. So let's go to the basic plating. I'm going to put it at about, uh, let's put it at about two for now. So that way it doesn't weigh too much and doesn't slow me down barely anything. Let's put my pimp glasses back on and we'll put these boots back on. And there we go. So that's basically how that will work. Um, a lot of you want to see me use some of these tools, more or less. Uh, the pump's not pumping anymore, which is starting to make me nervous. Why is this running out of water? Why are these getting no power? Uh-oh. We have a predicament on our hands. I just tapped the button twice. That's going to be black. Um, interestingly enough, I don't know what's happening. For some reason, I'm having power issues again. It looks like, so if I hit F9, I think it is. It should show me my chunk. And if we look closely, I see the issue. I don't have a chunk here or here. I have one there. So I need to increase this thing here to incorporate those. And then I have to replace everything. So shape square area increase to, we'll make it five by five. Um, mostly because I need that. I do need that, so turn all this off. Um, I, I knew it stayed. It wasn't happening for a few episodes, but it just started happening again recently. So just letting you know that's happening. Uh, so let's uh, end your chest diamonds. Ah, so I have diamond armor as well, guys. Uh, these leggings, this pick, as you know, and I have ten diamonds, but I can't find diamonds down below because I'm a sissy ninny and I don't know where to look. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a huge, huge gamble. Okay, we're talking pretty darn big gamble here. I'm gonna come down this way. I'm gonna go down, or nope, nope. We're gonna go down to the nether area. There's another dungeon down here. We're gonna go doing a little exploring, not much, but we're gonna see if in any of the chests we can find even one diamond. Now this is a crazy tough dungeon. I have been in it numerous times now. It is freaking scary. So let's store everything we don't need. Uh, which is basically everything but armor, a sword, and this pickaxe. Uh, so let's break all this. And I'm probably going to want another pickaxe just to be safe. Uh, so we have the swords. I'll keep the food on me, obviously. Do I have any more picks? I should. Maybe. No. No. Probably not. Yeah, there we go. There's one. And eh, that should be good enough. Um, and in this chest, there was, I saw, a, another sword. So we'll grab the sword here and just can put that Bip. Bah, there we go. Put that with that one. Just as these will be the broken back or these will be the backup swords. Um so to get up there, we're gonna we're gonna take the upstairs route. So we're gonna head upstairs. And this nether dungeon again is really freaking creepy, really freaking scary. And as I go down there, I'll talk to you guys about an idea I want to do to end off each episode from now on, but uh we'll go into that in just a moment here. So uh let's go this way. To the water which I never was able to clear up. There's too much of it. So we're gonna basically be heading straight down here. I think, I'm not sure if I've showed you guys this before in an episode. I've been down there a few times to visit. I'm not sure if I actually showed you guys in an episode though. So let's make our way down there. It's very, very hard to get down there. Uh, it's probably gonna be hard to see for a minute. Um, okay, I see light. This is the pathway I actually cut here um, for piping reasons. But it also now works as a perfect like layout of an air bubble. So I use that. Uh, so here we go. We're getting to another entrance. This is another layer. Uh, and then we, if we go even further, wiggle my way down here, uh, we can get to the nether layer. This is a layer really kind of creepy. Okay, here it is. Here it is. I see it. There's obsidian. There's nether rack. Uh-oh. About to drown. Ugh. Okay, it didn't drown. You can see you come right into a room with lava. And the water's going to push you right in, which is just perfect spacing. Let's destroy the monster skelly spawner right off the bat. You have some nether, whatever you call it, warts here uh, growing. I could start growing them myself. I'm not going to, though. Look at this. A spawner in lava. Like, come on. 
the, the this place is literally creepy um you got to be careful because there's a lot of mobs a lot a lot of mobs like look so this has some stuff in it some flowers i guess i think i probably put those in there at some point but they're they're get you get to a point where there's actually some really really good chests too so yeah i can tell i'm putting some of this stuff in here but you'll like i'll get to a point where there'll be actually some amazing chests and those are usually in the spawners like here's a room this is a full room here like look at this glowstone fantastic chest there a lot of wheat uh, I got a lot of zombie brains. Don't know what I'll use those for, but look, my inventory is almost full already. Um, I'll probably end up getting rid of some of the junk because there is some junk in here. Is there any torches? Oh, wait, it gave me glowstone. We'll use that. We'll use the glowstone to light these areas up. Uh, more glowstone. Yep, there we go. Torches, 29 torches. We'll use that now. Um, keep the wheat, keep the seeds. Basically, grab everything that we have stacks of as is. I don't know why it keeps. Uh, actually, I'll take the spruce. I don't need. Actually, okay. I don't need the oak saplings. Those can kind of screw off. I don't really need paper either, but I'll keep it. Trade it out later. Uh, let's keep going. Got stuff. Oh my god, a cactus. A golden apple. Like, come on, that's insane. I have too many of those log matrixes. I don't really need netherrack or soul sand. I have a stack of it as is anyway. Keep the safari net. Keep the log matrix, might as well. Don't need the one coal. Don't really need anything else in here except for that spruce sapling. But, like, look at that. Look at all those items. It's an insane amount. Uh, I try to be careful around the lava rooms. I always feel I'm going to die. And that thing you hear is not a slime, might I add. That is a... Back off. Back off. Good. You blow up right there. Don't bother me. Um... That's a magma, whatever the frick. Uh, these things bother me. They have so much health. Back off. I always run into these bastards. Look at how fast he is. Oh my god. They're insane. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. So strong. So, so strong. Uh, let's go in here. I feel as though something would be in here. This looks like a room where... Oh, it leads me up here with zombies okay to another dungeon perfect what did i just take damage by uh we've been up here this is the one room we actually ended up falling into in a previous episode i remember and there's a block of coal that's another reason i like it down here there's blocks of coal randomly dispersed and oh that's that that's a blaze 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 blaze blaze, blaze, blaze. that are, oh skeletons oh god oh god oh god oh god uh told you it's dangerous uh break the spider spawner get through here Okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, there's a spider too. Okay. Need to kill you and need to eat. That's... Oh my god, he sniped me out. Leave me alone, man. Anything really good? Steel boots? Yeah, I'll grab those. Uh, cook pork chop, yeah. Enchant book, yes. For sure. Get rid of that. I'll take the bottles of enchanting. The ender pearl, yes. I have a few builder's wands. I'll don't need the redstone. Don't really need these flowers. Screw off flowers and seeds. Uh, besides that, nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of going to leave you guys on your own over there. Let's just check over here. More blocks of coal. I'll come back down for those. I kind of won't need coal. I just can get coal from down here from now on. I mean, I already have a lot, but that's a lot, a lot of coal. If we were talking blocks of coal per break. Um, trying to find... Some sort of chest that might contain a diamond. Hello? There's gotta be one, like, in one of these side paths that's gonna lead me to, like... It'll have, like, a ton of mobs in it, though. It'll have, like, the craziest of mobs. So I've, I can, I've definitely been in this room. For sure. I seem to have spawn-trapped it, too. I don't really know if I'll ever do anything with that, but... Hello? Oh, that is a pumpkin in it. I'll keep, keep the pumpkin. Some leather. Don't really need the leather, but... Let's go down here. What do we what do we got here? Just fancy water or normal normal water. But uh any diamonds? <gasps> oh my god. Speak of the devil. There's some diamonds. Oh yes. I I'm so happy I decided to come in here. It's like I wonder if there'll be diamonds in this little cave. And sure enough, there was diamonds. Mission accomplished. Okay. Now we don't need to explore this place anymore. I feel so How did I get down here? Okay, there we go. Uh I feel so accomplished. Uh now we need to find our way back. It's gonna be very hard. 
to do. Especially now where we have four diamonds, I do not want to die at all. Totally worth it in the end. Uh, we ended up getting a ton of diamonds, which is really, really awesome. Uh, so let's go down this way. Okay. And what we'll do now is we will store the diamonds with the rest of them. Bam. And we can now make a quarry. Uh, we're going to need a lot of materials, obviously, still to make it. But that's still enough. And then we're going to have zero diamonds pretty much after. But uh, we got diamonds. It was awesome. Now to explain what I'm going to start doing at the end of my videos. So step one, I need to find some wood. Um, and as I get the wood, I'll explain what I plan on doing. So what I plan on doing is at the end of each episode, I'm going to take a comment from each episode. And I'm going to put a sign with that person's name on my wall and come on come on S screw you uh, the mushroom and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll take that sign again put it on the wall and what's gonna happen is the per the comments that uh, I choose completely random uh, I it will be like 100% random uh, but what I'll do is so like over in this room so like this time, we're just going to do me. I'll start it off. We'll just put mine, and it will be, and I'll put a message for each. So for mine, it'll be happy birthday. So that w I started this trend on my birthday. So it'll say Rye Guy Rocky, and then we'll just have that. And then it says the message, which mine will be happy birthday. So from now on, your comment can be put up on this wall from, like, in the, f the future from this point forward. Uh, need to get rid of some stuff here. Okay. Okay, not on the floor. Anyway, so that's the future plan. So if you want it, leave a comment and you can get your name on this wall. So uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And as always, stay beautiful and peace.